brownies, what we're going to do is you're going to need a pound of butter. And we use unsalted butter here. And uh, you're going to melt your four sticks of unsalted butter in okay. a pan. So you're going to do this all in a large saucepan. First of all, why unsalted? Unsalted has obviously no salt, less preservatives, and it's sweeter. And you know what? The food pyramid says you need a teaspoon of salt every day, and you get that naturally in most of the foods that you eat. So you really don't need that added salt. All right. Okay. So you're going to melt a pound of butter, which we did. And then what you're going to do, we're going to follow our recipe. We're going to be using four cups of granulated sugar right here. First and of all, I was surprised that there's so many ingredients in brownies. I know. Mine well, comes like in one box. I know. And these don't have any preservatives in, and they're really decadent, and they're yummy. They're Probably well healthier. worth it. Yeah. Well, I don't know about healthier, but they're well worth the effort. All right. <laughs> okay, so you're going to add to our pound of to unsalted this. butter four cups of granulated sugar. We like to use C and H sugar here. It's just a finer granulation. Dump it's it a all. cane sugar. Dump it all. And I'm going to stir it up. And now you're going to add four teaspoons of vanilla. Okay, and go ahead. There's your yes. vanilla. And you know what? If you go ahead and add that in here. If you didn't have four teaspoons of vanilla, don't worry about it because you can't tell me that in a pound of butter, four cups of sugar, one and a half cups of cocoa, and the rest of the ingredients, you're not even going to taste that vanilla. So you'd be okay if you forgot that. All right. So we're going to stir this up. And you really don't have to have a mixer for this, which is really nice especially if you just like to do things that are quick and easy. Your oven is going to be 350 degrees, which okay. is a standard baking temperature in the United States. And now what you're going to do is you're going to add the cocoa, the which cocoa. is a cup and a half of unsweetened cocoa. Smells good. This is the kind of cocoa that you wouldn't want to add milk and uh, just think you have hot chocolate. You need some sugar with this. There you go. And I'm going to mix I'm that in. I'm letting some get away, sorry. I know, it's really <laughs> dusty. So. And then you're going to add your eggs. And we have three eggs at room temperature. And room temperature because? The reason we like room temperature is because as eggs soften, it allows you to incorporate more air into them and you get more volume. Okay. So even if you're separating eggs, separate eggs when they're cold, OK? But let them warm up for about 45 minutes and you'll get a little bit more volume. Go ahead and add Dump. that in here. All Dump right. them in there. And you also get to work your biceps and your hands <laughs> while you do this, okay? That's how you can eat the brownies and still look like Debbie Dugan. Well, I, think. I don't know about that. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a half a teaspoon of salt, which okay. is right there. This one? Just a uh -huh. little bit. That's not Just much, Just a little right? bit. That's not much salt. Is this another ingredient I can forget? Or no, no you need the salt. One? We're going to create a little bit of gas with the salt and the baking powder. That's going to give us our leavening agent. Now you're going to add a teaspoon of baking powder. And so gas is a good thing in this case. Gas right? is okay. a good thing in this case. <laughs> Gotcha. Only in this case, okay? Right. And then, last but not least, we're going to add two cups of all-purpose flour. It doesn't okay. need to be sifted. You just add the flour. I'm just kind of proud of myself that I'm able to recognize the ingredients, Debbie. I think that's Debbie. pretty good, Jennifer. <laughs> it's a good start. Yeah. <laughs> okay, just dump this in? Yeah, dump it in. Is this an old favorite of yours? Is this something that you made you know, for the this kids? Is, this is a favorite of everybody's because they're decadent. That's okay, you know. Pe being messy is part of the uh, <laughs> journey into cooking, let me tell you. And now I'm going to stir this. And here's the scoop. If you like nuts, you can add two cups of toasted walnuts or pecans in here, even peanuts, or you don't have to add nuts at all. And you're not going to be using a 9 by 13 baking pan. I need you to use a jelly roll pan, okay? okay. You could use a 9 by 13 baking pan, but you're going to have to end up cooking these brownies for about 50 minutes. Uh. And they're pretty rich. So if you use a jelly roll pan, you have a shorter baking time and you have more brownies. Okay. That's always good. Yeah, and if you use nuts, you get a little bit moister brownie, but you know what? They're delicious without the nuts, okay? Or maybe so chocolate don't... chips thrown in there? And... I think the chocolate chips might give you a little upset <laughs> Too tummy much? at the oh. end of the evening. All right, all right. But nuts Starting would to be look good. Creamy. Okay. It looks like fudge. Well, you know what? Great. It tastes like fudge once it bakes. So I'm gonna get a spatula, which is one of those ingredients everybody has to have in their kitchen. Do people and lick the spoons around here, Debbie? No, raw eggs. Oh, oh. So, and especially, you want to be careful with raw eggs if you're pregnant. Which I am. Which she is. So, and it's not just all the brownies I've been eating, it's actually a baby. A baby. So, we and if people miss the recipes too, we will have them online. We so will that, have them online. Because this is going a little fast for me, honestly. And I want to tell you that you want to always make sure when you're baking that you butter your pans, okay? okay? 
and just butter or grease with the same ingredient that's in your recipe. That just kind of makes sense. You, you're okay. using the butter, just take a smidge with your hands and loosen it up. All right. Loosen the butter up a little bit by melting it and then spread it in here evenly, which you wow. can do. Look how rich it looks. It does look rich. Now, you can use a spray, that's okay, but why not use the real thing, which is butter. It's natural and it's in your recipe. And then your oven is 350 degrees. Now, you might ask me, I have to look at my recipe. You're going to bake this in the middle rack. The top rack is too hot. It's like the top part of your house is warmer. Right, right. So always in the middle of your oven. Set your timer at 30 minutes. Put the old toothpick in there. Take it out, look at it. If it needs a few more minutes, then five more minutes. 30 to 35 minutes, and you're good to go. Take them out. Don't cut them until they cool, about 30 minutes to cool. Serve them up. You can cut them in triangles with some ice cream, strawberries. You're good to go. Well, that sounds good. Now, I'm looking on the toothpick for it to still be a little doughy a little on the toothpick. A little doughy, yeah, because okay. this will continue to cook after you take it out of the oven. And that's what people don't realize. Food continues to cook when you remove it from that the oven. That is true. Yeah. Especially cookies and things. Yeah, they, they start out soft and then they yeah. end up too hard or too yeah. dry. It's really so. a science, but you're making it simple. It is simple. It is. Yes. And you're going to show Trust us. Trust me. Well. Okay. It's simple which they're, you know, a couple dollars for a sieve with some powdered sugar. And then we're going to scoop these up. And I did use a pizza cutter to cut the brownies. It works really well. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a pizza cutter. And we're good to go. When these are a little bit cooler, we're going to um, put them on our little plate, and they'll be cute, darling, and they'll be so good to eat. I 